Now, Apple do Zamp. Is that true that you Zamp for Apple? Or is that all right, so that, that unbearable lightness of being was Daniel Day-Lewis, Juliette Binoche, and Lena Olin. Okay. Oh, and my hotel is right around the corner. It's right there. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's right over there. Yeah, so we're... Sounds like we're right behind each other. Right. <laughs> yeah, we got dropped off. We were like, where in the world are we? What is happening? <laughs> Yeah, my Uber driver said he drove almost all the way to the hotel and he said, most guys won't do this because you're not supposed to drive back here. The police will give you a ticket. Right. You have to, they actually have to prove they have a rider in the car. The cops will give them a ticket. He was right. The next Uber driver dropped me off like, oh, it's 500 meters that way. That's what we got. Yeah, we got yeah. like, guys close and I was like, eh. So we're like, okay. Yeah. I hope that guy didn't just drive us into the middle of the city. If you're like, <laughs> yeah, thank God that was, thank God it was my second driver or I never would have found it. I mean, he was literally like, he spoke no English. He was like, 500 meters that way. Like, okay. Yeah, it was a, it was a little uh, exciting. Like, okay. Yeah, we made a mistake of getting that ticket. Not, uh, we took the bus from the central station. And then realized when we got out, we, we were no idea what we were doing. I almost did that. I was going to take the bus and then the train or some combination of the two. But yep. I, had, I had to pack so much luggage for five weeks of, of trip that right. I just didn't want to carry it all. It was like 60 pounds worth of crap I have to carry around. Yeah, that's what we were like. Eventually, we got to sit and I was like, no. Yeah, then we're like taking a cab from here. Green facade. Yeah. That is the Hotel Clemente. It is the narrowest building here in Prague. No, oh, cool. Yeah. Narrowest building in Prague. <laughs> yeah, so I just walked this entire thing this morning to go to the other St. Nicholas Church. This is where we're headed, is oh, right okay. over there. Oh, here's another. Uh, oh, they're coming. So we just have to look for home to thing. Yeah, I need to ask, what is that called? What's her name? Do you remember her name? I do not. <laughs> I hate yelling, hey. Right. Elga. Elga? What are these uh, cones called? The dessert? It's like cordlo or yeah, turdlo? Like? Yeah. Turtle? It's all recipe from middle of Bohemia. Or somebody says from Slovakia. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. <laughs> Because they seem to have a couple of different names depending on where you go. Well, personally, I don't like yeah, them. You don't like I, them? But I also, I, for example, don't drink beer. Yeah, only wine. So I'm definitely not typical. <laughs> and I also like more this uh, apple strudel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this apple strudel. I say this is like a coffee shower. Oh, yeah. Why would you want to have apples? Right. <laughs> They certainly have a lot of Thai massage places per capita here, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not quite sure. Uh... <laughs> have you seen these? This is the only place I've seen these, but I think those are pretty cool. Oh, the, Russian, oh, nice. the Russian hats. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird to see like uh, communist things becoming like in yeah, vogue. In fashion. vogue. Yeah. Like, fashion statements. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot different this morning when I walked up here. There was nobody. I walked up at like 8.30 uh -huh. and there were about maybe 20 people on this whole street. This has been the only place we went to our breakfast. Like we usually get there at yeah, 8.39 ish. And normally we're like the end of the crowd. Yeah. Then a whole bunch of people came in. There was, whoa, what are you guys don't have? Like, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's definitely a little later. How long are you in each city for? I just a couple of days in most cities. I'm spending five days in Switzerland because I'm going up to um, up into the Alps. Oh, wow. uh, so yeah, one of those one of these towns that you can't drive into. You have to take like it's the it's like the highest train in Europe. It goes all the way up into the Alps. There's no cars up there or anything, just hotels. Oh, beautiful. So if you know where, if you've heard of the Eiger, 
Um, it's where the, the Iger is. It's Iger's one of the big mountains up there. Okay. So yeah, you basically just, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of, it's lots of hiking. Hiking and chilling out and drinking beer and looking at, you know, snow-capped mountains and kind of thing, so. It sounds like a good end to the, uh... Yeah, it's gonna be very relaxing. Yeah, we're doing the same. We got two weeks and we were like, all right, we got two weeks that we can do this. Let's hit four cities. But it is, yeah, two and a half days per... <laughs> yeah, same here. I'm only doing one day in France just because I have to go back to Frankfurt and I like looked at the route and I'm like, I'm driving right in between Germany and France. Why don't I just drop into France for a day? So going to this little town called Colmer, oh, cool. which is south of Strasbourg, just this little old medieval town. <laughs> kind of like, kind of looks like Venice in some places. It's got canals running all through it, so it's kind of cool. Yeah, I was surprised how the other places have canals. It's like America, yeah. they're just like Venice. Nobody has them. Yeah, and then you get to, you get, we went to Amsterdam and we're like, oh my god, these canals are way better than the Venice canals. It's nice, well, uh, uh, the night, this red cross or cross night are inside this convent. They were in Middle Ages, something like the management of the bridge to them. You had to pay if you wanted to go across Charles Bridge. Now there is a museum of the bridge, the statue, is again Charles the Fourth. He is depicted like a founder of the university. The four ladies on the pedestal, they are symbols of four faculties that the university had since Middle Ages. And here is some um, old town tower. Here is the beginning of Charles Bridge. Now I will get my umbrella so up. <laughs> so peaceful. Even if our group is so small, it could happen that you get lost. I don't know why it's something like a Bermuda Triangle here on the Charles Bridge. So, <laughs> if you lost the group, please, we will meet in 10 minutes at the opposite riverbank. But not at the end of the bridge, but 200 meters before. From here, it is to the left. There is such a staircase that goes to the island now. So we will meet at the staircase, yeah. But I hope we will be all together because I would like to show you where to touch if you have a wish. <laughs> The big building at the opposite riverbank with two flags of Czech Republic and of European Union is the seat of our government. On the top of the hill it is the seat of our Prime Minister, the White Building. Then Grand Council over there it is the seat of the President of the Republic. Then the Green Spire over there it is the Church of Our Lady Victoria with Infant Jesus of God inside. And uh, on the top of the hill over there is something like an Eiffel Tower in Paris. Yeah. Our tourists uh, at that time in the 19th century were in Paris and they were so impressed by Eiffel Tower. 
that they wanted to have something similar also here. And so they constructed this tower. We are joking that the high is the same like in Paris. Only here you have to count it together with the high of the hill. <laughs> there is Funicular Railway just in a few meters and you will see uh, there is such a white building in the middle of the hill. It is a very nice restaurant with a very nice view and it is the first stop of this Funicular Railway. The second stop is on the top of the hill. Tower of Israel Roof, yeah, and you will go down the steps and you will cross that bridge and you will turn to the left, yeah, and the next bridge is the yellow columns, that is the one. Maybe tomorrow, it will be, maybe just today. What do you have to do? Yeah, over the Yeah, and in this position, if you tell your wish, it will come true. I don't know. No. 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 Um, I'm sure they weren't like yeah, that. Yeah, so far, oh, the anniversary of 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 the the at least uh, we can see the whole story. Here to the left, Saint John is hidden behind the grill. Can you stay, light. Say your group stand next. We can take photos. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 
Somebody thinks that it's only one on the road. <laughs> so, St. John is behind that uh, grill hidden, and we can see only his right hand. Yeah, and the Queen Sophie is in front of the grill kneeling. Yeah, and to the right, you can see how he was thrown down from the bridge to the water. Selena say always the truth. He say if you have a Below us, over there, is another statue, a little bit hidden. It's a new saint. It is the Knight Roland. And in the Middle Ages, he was the exact border between the old town of Prague, where we have been till now, and Lesser Town. Here is the beginning of the Lesser Town, Mahastra. Below us is the island because over there is the river Lotava and over there is artificial channel called Devil's Channel, Chertovka in Czech. And they create this island Kampa and because Kampa is very romantic, let's go to sea. All right. <laughs>
here were really many, many floods over the centuries. Here you can see the level of the water and the year when it happened. And really in 2002 you can imagine it was disaster. Yeah. Because it came overnight, nobody expected that. The underground was not closed and was damaged and didn't work. Six months it was really disaster. In 2013 almost the same happened, but we were very good prepared around this island for such a provision wall. So almost nothing happened here in Prague in 2013, uh, but really in 2002 you can imagine it was really disaster. Are you in love? Huh? Yes. Definitely, yes. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the right place for you. It's everywhere now in Europe. Yeah, it's spread after the film for teenagers of Voria di Te, I want you, could be translated. And it started at first in Rome at a uh, very old bridge in Emilia. And then really it's spread in all Europe. So you can love your luck here, throw the key to the water, and your luck forever is uh, love here. These walls with graffiti, you can see it now everywhere, but over there it's something special. It is Lennon's wall. Yeah. Uh, during communist regime, young people, students came to this place and they wanted to protest against communist regime. And so they drew something uh, like a protest very often. They decided to, um, uh, to draw the face of John Lennon because for us he was a symbol of peace, freedom, democracy. Then the police came and cancelled everything with green color. And the students again did something new. And so till now it changes and there is permission to do something. Yeah. It ends there, not at this yellow right, yeah. wall, but over there really you can uh, also do something new today. So really every day there is something new and it is called Lennon's Wall, like till now symbol for peace and democracy. Oh, wow.
the knights of St. John of Jerusalem. Then they were driven out from Jerusalem and they had to live 2,000 years on Rhodos Island. They, again, they were driven out and they uh, lived uh, in Malta Island. Nowadays you know them like Maltesian knights. Until now they have in possession the Lennon's Wall and Devil's Wheel and uh, just uh, in uh, this uh, church, Our Lady, below the chain, and on the corner you will see the embassy of Maltesian Knights. Ha 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 ha! 